I'm Linda, and I'm going to tell you about Tarot today. Oh wait, you already know about it. No? Well, let me tell you. Tarot is a great communications professional, and he absolutely loves his job. I'm so bored and hungry. Oh well, almost everything. It's no rocket science that Tarek absolutely loves his food. No, literally loves his food. So, when a cafe called Fireflies wanted to launch in the UAE, guess who's super duper excited to work on it? I feel good! And he actually did a pretty good job of it. The client was happy. But what next? Live video can be a compelling proposition for any brand. An opportunity to connect with its audience in real time and get an immediate reaction to it. It's fast, it's cheap, and as simple as pressing a button on your phone. But just because something can be done cheaply doesn't mean it needs to be done. Hi Justin, so I've been researching on different types of video like live videos and broadcast style videos. And I think that broadcast style will suit uh, fried fries more. But broadcast style or polished videos could be more expensive than live videos, right? Uh, that's true, but fried fries is all about beautifully presented comfort food and broadcast style will definitely suit it more, despite the extra expense. Well, I hope you're sure about this. Trust me. Right. Good call, Tarek. Polished versus live or authentic video is something that's going to define how brands will approach video content in 2017. To like Snapchat, make quick content on the go. Anyone with a mobile phone can shoot a video and share it with the world. But that doesn't mean that these are the kind of videos that users want to see from the brands that they follow. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Amateur, poorly shot and edited video content can do huge damage to a brand's reputation. Tarek, where have you gone? Just disappeared again. Where are you, Tarek? Where are you? The secret to success in life is to just eat whatever you like. And just let the food fight it out inside Habibi. Hello? Hi Tariq, I run a restaurant. Will you do a video review for us? Yeah, sure, I'd love to. How much do you charge? Um, around dollars. What? That's a lot of money. Yeah, Habibi, don't tell me you're having an out of money experience right now, okay? This is what I charge. You're crazy. Whatever. Influencer marketing. It's a global industry trend, and it's here to stay. Long are the days of handing them a six-figure check. In 2017, brands wanting to work with influencer will ask themselves two key questions. Number one, can I trust that this vlogger won't do anything to harm my reputation? Number two, am I confident that they will declare the nature of our relationship openly and honestly? Now that you've heard everything from video to video content, we hope you'll keep these things in mind when creating your next video. You know now what to do and what not to do. Tarek has done it again. He's always disappearing. I don't know what to do with that guy.